Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my videos and today I am going to be doing a what's in my makeup bag so I have two makeup bags which I'm going to show you right now just one second let me just roll it so this is my first one which is main priority my makeup priorities I think and it's from Primark and it was four pounds and it is a really nice rainbow I think it zips up it's also really good because can you see it's flat like that but when you open it up it booms out like that which I love about it because it can just stand anywhere just stands in my plate and then when you close it back up it folds back over like that so you can then zip it up and it has a little rainbow keyring which I absolutely love my second one is one of my I have obviously the two makeup bags the one that I just showed you now is my second favourite but this is my absolute favourite because it's a Zoella, a Zoella candy, Zoella beauty, Zoella beauty candy clutch beauty bag. I'm not too sure how much this is because I got it for Christmas. But on this side, I've got a bit of a lipstick mark there. So... But on this side, it's also got a Z on it, and then at the bottom of this side, it says Zoella. And I love it. It is huge, and I love that it is big on the inside. It's quite deep. I don't know if you can tell on the camera that it's quite deep. But I'm going to go through every single thing in my makeup bag, and where I got it from, I will know some prices, but not all. I am stuck on prices. So first of all, I'm going to start on my absolute favourite makeup bag. It's the Wella Candy Clutch Beauty Bag. So first of all, I have this, which is a sleek makeup purse. Which, it is a purse, but not for a purse to keep money in. It's gold and all of it, so if you're going out and you just want... Um, some makeup, all it came with was, was four things. I think it was a mascara, a lipstick, and a little eyeshadow thing, which you'll get to see. And it all went in this, it came in this, and I absolutely love this. And I'm not sure where it's from yet again because I won't know where everything is from. But let's just put that to one side. I absolutely love this. Next up, I had a this is from Primark and I had a two pack blender sponge thing and the blending sponge is stuck here, did come in here, blending sponges did come in here but um, I took them out and I just kept the packet for what's in my makeup bag vlog so I'm going to put that packet to one side and those if anybody was interested from Primark for £2.50 for the two blending sponges. Next up is a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. It's a Real Techniques brushes and it comes with three brushes. One for your eyeshadow, one for your blusher and one for your foundation primer type thing. But I would not mix this come with a free sample of this wasn't free obviously but it come with a free sample of cleaning solution for the brushes um and that's where the brushes were and the cleaning solution is really good this is a velcro and it's a stand for the brushes uh, this can tighten it up. You can, if you were taking it out, you could hold it like a little bag type thing. <clears throat> Next up is an Olivia Hale lipstick. 
it's an antique rose one I absolutely love the Olivia Hale thing but I, oh, the only thing I use is the lipstick my mum actually uses a lot of Olivia Hale things the next thing is a it is absolutely wrecked because it wasn't great it came in a magazine and I wouldn't use usually use makeup out of a magazine and as you can see it's got totally wrecked and come apart because as soon as I put it on my face it just went everywhere and I personally thought it was going to be good and it's a cover star highlighter in spotlight and it's supposed to be for your cheeks but that was quite rubbish so I'm going to put it for the pin pile over there also what else got for Christmas was oh actually guys before I move on to that the two pack blending sponges were £1.50 sorry from Primark I didn't actually realise they were £1.50 but anyway next up is a Krispy Kreme set um gloss like these glosses I absolutely love them and as you can see there it says Krispy Kreme and it come in like a donut box which was really really cute and this is a strawberry gloss as you can see it's very shiny I also got an original glazed gloss and then which I don't really particularly think this is a great one it doesn't come out brown on your lips but I'm not too keen on the colour but it is chocolate dream cake but my cousin actually did buy me this a lot of my makeup came from my mum and dad, but the, this one is the one that my cousin got me with the brushes. That's just a little plastic thing for, that came from the lipstick that can go in the pen pile. Yeah, so it came as a three pack of crispy cream glosses, which I absolutely love. You can actually taste it obviously don't eat it but uh, you get the see hopefully the next thing is some lip smackers this was a pack of four a strawberry one's gone in my pocket again guys before I move on this is the one of use because I absolutely love I forgot to mention the other Krispy Kreme one this Krispy Kreme one is a raspberry glazed one I absolutely love this raspberry glazed one. As you can see, I have had some on my lips out of this. It, mm, it is such a nice thing. I might actually put some on now because I'm so tempted. It actually tastes like donut. I won't put a lot of this on otherwise it will start to go everywhere and you won't have any left it's one of those squeezy ones oh look and taste donut on my lip but yeah some definitely come out of that I feel definitely so yes, it was a four pack of those. These were a four pack. They are a Skittles lip smacker. You get four different flavour things and it's like a lip smacker balm. Smacker, balm, whatever. But it, this is a banana berry one and it is yellow for banana. I absolutely love this banana one. My favourite is actually the mango tangalo then you also get a raspberry and a strawberry but I haven't got the strawberry one with me it must have gone into my pocket or something but also again this is a four pack from B&M and they were £2.199 for four of the lip 
smackers, which I think is quite good. I like to keep my lips up to date. Next is this this coming a set for Christmas. She got a pack of socks, a body lotion, and a nail varnish. It was actually two pairs of socks. And I got this, it's like gold Jack Quills nail varnish. And I love this. It's so nice and glittery. So yeah, I love that. And another wrapper. Let me just pop that to one side. Wrapper's obviously not needed. But I've got no room for that wrapper. This was the sleek. I don't know if you can tell in the camera where it's a sleek. But it's a sleek. What I've got in the golden purse. I'm going to be putting that together. The golden purse. One second. Oh, I've got, I'm sorry guys, I have really bad hay fever. But I, I, I do take antihistamines. Oh, it's very hard to open. But you get those different colours with a mirror. Oh, I just put my finger in one. So really nice. Some glittery, some natural. So I'm going to pop that into the gold purse. There we go. What does it say in there? Yeah, it's made in London. So that is my first sleep product. And then the rest of this makeup bag is empty. So as I'm putting it back, I'm just going to show you what I had as I'm putting it back. Two packs of Splendor, Splendor Sponges, the four pack of Krispy Kreme, and the four pack of the Skittles, but only three, and the Jack Wills nail polish, the brushes that aren't in there in my other makeup bag, and the sleek golden purse, which I'm going to keep out. Actually, I'll put it back now. I keep changing my mind today, I'm very but next is for the main event. Just to recap, this makeup bag was £4 and it's called a Rainbow Purse Yeah. First of all, this was the two pack of blending sponges. Obviously, it's a bit messy because I use this for my foundation, but it's to be expected, so you've got that one. And then this one, which I absolutely love. I actually also, my mum and dad got me these. I have one that came by itself. This, this one came by itself. And then I got that as a two pack. So that one's by itself. And then I got these two as a two pack. So I have three blending sponges. Let me put those to one side. Next up. I got in a magazine again. I've not actually tried these yet, but it's Cover Star Cheeks, Eyes, and Lips. So you're supposed to be able to use it as an eyeshadow, a lip thing, which I'm not too sure of with this colour. They're the same, the two different colours Cheeks, Eyes, and Lips. Cover Star. I'd use this one on my lips and my cheeks, but this one I'm not keen on the colour whatsoever. It's orange and all. Oh, it's orange and I really don't like it it's like a crayon type thing and it come in a magazine all I'd keep is this one to be honest I really do not like this one which is going in the bin next thing which I'm not saying I'm not appreciative of I am of course appreciative of it but obviously I really don't like the colour orange on my cheeks eyes or Next is on to the brushes, which I'm not sure how much they were. Now I've got a case of finding the purple brush, which always hides. There we go. So it says essential foundation brush, if you can see, which I love this. And it says real technique. 
by Sam and Nick. So I've got that one. Then I have the multitask brush. It's called. You cannot see that whatsoever. Multitask brush, which is like a brush for your highlighter, bronzer, or blusher. Which I use my blusher. This is a domed shadow brush. I'm sorry if you can't see that, but I will put some in the description, some makeup things where you can get them from. I'll put a link in the description for some, hopefully if I find out. This is a BB cream from Superdrug. It's Rimmel and it's a, it's colour SP515 and it's very light and it lasts long lasting up to 24 hour hydration even skin tones and it's a nine in one which is i love this so much because i'm a bit too young to have um foundation yet on my skin next is this long lasting finish eight hour wear room london makeup primer which was from asda I'm not sure how much that's either. This is an Olivia Hale Antique Rose Lip Gloss. This is the colour of the gloss. Which my mum actually gave me. Then this is the Rimmel London 001 Blonde. And it's a brown styling gel brow this way Rimmel London. From... Boots, I think. Next is this two pack of gloss. There's this lip gloss and then this lip gloss, which I think was £3 or £4.50. These were out of a magazine, which are lip balms. This was, I think, blueberry and strawberry. It's either raspberry and strawberry or blue bully. Blue bully. I cannot speak. I can't even say speak now. Speak. Blueberry. Finally, what to say that? My lips look so shiny. Nude. Magnificent eyes. Nude edition eye contouring palette. It has steps on the back for beginners, which is great, and it's a Rimmel London, and it was, I think, from Superdrug or Boots. This is a Blushing Hearts Triple Plate Blake Bape Blusher, which it's like a bronze, then a pink and then like rosy gold colour which I also love. Then I have a aloe vera Vaseline which I love for my lips. My lips get really chapped in the cold at winter. Then this is a You Are Magical strobe kit. This come with it but I currently use it for foundation. It was a strobe kit, a unicorn You Are Magical strobe kit. I also love. Then this is a Ted Baker Rose Gold Mirror. You open it up, it's one side's bigger, one side's smaller, if you can see me in it. Right, so I also love that. Then I'm not wearing this, but my mum did give it to me for when I'm older. It's a Katie Rimmel London lipstick it's too dark for me now as you can tell but when I'm a bit older maybe I'm just keeping that for future reference this was a sleek mascara that come in a set then I have this cover star oh so natural mascara which also I wouldn't recommend because the outside gets so dirty when you try to pull the brush up look at the state of the inside and the state of the bottom of the brush. I mean, I would not use that mascara in a million years. 
And the reason why I love the sleek mascara is because the brush, the brush is just so big and easy. Trains currently get something. Fail again, and it's just made a mess. Right, that was off. I've done that very much. Right, but anyway, I like it because of the smallness of the brush and the big of the brush pot, if you get what I mean. Oh, I found the strawberry skittles one. Strawberry star fruit. So I'm going to put that in this pot and next up on this video. I always do a half and half video if you need to this channel, which I've only been doing a there's only two videos up so far on my new channel, but if you are new, half of it an idea of a vlog like Collins or something like that. Or a main vlog where I go out maybe. And I ask you at the end of the vlog now Please comment down below any questions you have because I do a question of the day every single time at the end of each video. I forgot to yesterday, but it's going to be the day today. I had a question on Instagram which said it can be on Instagram as well. Go follow my Instagram and Ingham Family Lover. This one is Princess MG. Basically, but the question of the day is What is your favourite film? My favourite Disney film, I'm just gonna say Disney because I love Disney films, would be Sleeping Beauty because that's my favourite Disney princess. Um, but yes, I will be giving a shout out to any of you that comment down below let me know how your day is going the shout out will be for the question of the day but let me know how your day is going down below and please let me know if anybody knows of any good camcorders if anybody does not know what a camcorder is don't worry about it but if you want to know a camcorder is a vlogging camera so a camera but a recorder a camcorder so I really want a camcorder, what is the best for recently starting, so I'm using my laptop at the minute to vlog my YouTube, so yes, if anybody does know of any good camcorders, please let me know down below and let me know how your day is going, but thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I hope you enjoyed it guys. Um, but it's not going to end there. I am now, because my phone is fully charged, it's on a hundred percent, which I love about that. I am going to go live on Instagram. So, I am going to have a look, actually, on this video now. I'm going to show you guys. I have 19 follow requests, which have go through at the minute so go follow I'm Singham family fan go follow my Instagram please so I'm just going to confirm some of these so I will not be a minute guys thank you to any of you that are watching this video and following me on Instagram it means a lot Thank you very much, and I follow everyone back that follows me. Definitely always do. So I am just following everybody back. Come on, nearly done. Right, finally I have finished. I have a 136 followers at the minute, which I'm so glad I reached 100.
through followers. Thank you so much. And the shout out of the day goes to ifam underscore superfan. So if you're watching this, I love it. Thank you for your love and support. Next is going to be looking through. There are two posts. Answering. Oh, somebody has put Ingham underscore fan underscore xx underscore underscore xx. Thank you so much for putting Hong Rap. I have the best followers. I will definitely have to be giving you a shout out. Definitely. And I just have another follow request. But that is sorted. There we go. So guys, yeah, go hit Instagram up. It's amazing social media thing. So I'm going to go live now, finally, and I hope you enjoy me talking, I'm going to talk to you guys as well on my live, so I'm about to go live. I'm going to take my hair out because, take my hair out, take my bubble out, because my hair feels quite tight tonight, I don't know why feel so tight. There we go. Let me message everybody to say I am live. There we go. I've told a few people I'm live. And I hope you all guys are enjoying this YouTube video as well as me going live on Instagram, which I love, love, love doing. As you can see in the background there, oh, I've got a guitar. I know I'm focusing on that. But any questions, guys, just recap, comment down below. And like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for some new amazing videos from me. Thank you. This video has been going for nearly 20 minutes. My goodness. I'm only going to stay on Instagram live until um, if anybody joins. Let's say it's half seven now. So about 15 minutes. Because I've had such a busy day replying to all you amazing followers on Instagram. Also, I only have a couple of subscribers on YouTube at the minute, but obviously I'm going to work towards getting, hopefully, a lot more of you. Any iPhone that are watching this, I'm a huge fan of the Ingham family. So go follow the Ingham family and Sassy Bell, which is their 12-year-old daughter, Isabel. Go follow her. I met her at a meet and greet yesterday, which was brilliant. It was Saturday actually, it's Monday now, two days ago I met her. Doesn't look like I think people are busy because I'm not getting any wear at the minute. Hello. 
I also do on Instagram guys if you want to go check that out. I will leave my Instagram in the description below. Um I will leave that in the description below. But yeah. Hopefully I don't forget to put it in the description below. If I do forget, I am really sorry. I think I'm going to end this video guys because I think people are quite busy at the minute. So I'm going to end this video here and end this Instagram live. But thank you for watching everybody. Mm -hmm.